it's Jess here and welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of Plaidmas. So I apologize for my voice ahead of time. I just did a really long video of what I read this year and you'll see that later this week. Um, <laughs> but it took a while so I'm a little, a little boofed, a little, I don't know. Um, my voice is a bit silly but um, yeah so Please don't mind that for this video, but I did want to get my planning done. So this, as, it, as the base goes on, you'll see that I'm using a caress press kit called Christmas Countdown. Uh, I bought both, did I buy both versions from SPC and Caress Press? Either way, I loved both colorways, but I, I really enjoyed this one. It made me think of very like vintage 90s kind of Christmas. And I'm going to pair it with the SPC foil bundle in rose gold, like the proper rose gold. And what you don't see in this base yet, but I'm going to keep room for it, is some overlays in rose gold from Plan With Me stickers. Apologies, it's not a Jess video without a burp. But, um, <laughs> um, you'll see in a minute when we get uh, into the day by day together that I've already put the new overlays down because they did arrive. Um, in time for the rest of this video, but yeah, so I'm keeping the bottom washi clear as well as the glitter header covers over the top of my full boxes. I did put the confetti on the rest of them because you might as well go a bit all out for our Christmas foil, um, but I did leave room for some uh, and a quote as well that I'm going to use from Plant With Me stickers and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is the first Christmas spread of the year and I really really like it. It's very cozy and warm and it's been very snowy here lately. This week they put up a Christmas tree in the downstairs area of our buildings. I think the municipality puts them up like the city um, and it has Christmas lights and it's a real tree and I can see it from my window here and it's so pretty and everyone's got their Christmas lights on and their balconies uh, and it's all white with snow. It's been lovely. A lovely start to the month. Um, so this plan with me is from the 27th of November through to the 3rd of December and a lot of stuff happened like started this week including um, Plaid Miss of course started on the 1st as did the Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam which is like they stream all day every day um, for charity so we watch a lot of that for the first two weeks of December. Um, and then also Sorted, which is like a food YouTube that we watch. They started doing a video every day in December too. And Andre is also doing Plamis. And I believe Kirsten is also doing Plamis. So I have a lot of videos to catch up on. Oh, and December 1st was also the embargo lifted on the new Sims 4 expansion called For Rent. And so a lot of videos came up for that as well from Early Access. So I've been, this has been a crazy week, <laughs> a crazy weekend, honestly. Um, and I've been doing a lot of work this week. I was productive AF. We'll get to it when we go into the day by day, which I'm going to start now, because I feel like we've gone long enough with the base. But yes, here I am. Let me show you. I put this quote here from Plan With Me stickers. My favorite color is Christmas lights. I realized after I put it down that I don't love the American spelling of favorite in my planner. I do try and be more British Australian English but that's just the way it is <laughs> and then I put the bottom washi down which Santa Claus is coming to town look how cute that is I feel like that's perfect for this spread so I love that and then I have the um these uh Christmas light overlays for the full some of the glitter headers and it goes with that and I think it just goes with the spread really well but what was I saying yeah, so um, I started this, um, I think I mentioned in the last plan with me that just came up that I have started a new routine where um, I go to bed before midnight and I leave my phone in the living room and I set an alarm on it for 9.15 a.m. just to give me that extra bit of sleep if I need it because I don't really actually have to be anywhere. But 9.15 a.m. is my alarm and it's in the living room and I've been getting up before nine at the moment. I'd be getting up right in the eights. <laughs> um, and it's been, uh, I've, been, I've been able to do it for a whole week now and it's, it's been really good. It's done a lot for me, just doing this little routine change. And after doing it for a week, today is Monday that I'm filming this and I got the update of my screen time on my phone. It's down 42%. 
how did I spend half my time on the phone after like 10 p.m.? Like what? Between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. is when I spent 42% of my time on my phone. No wonder I wasn't like getting any sleep. <laughs> I wasn't feeling like, um, like up to being, like not being able to be productive. You know what I mean? So this has been really great. And I'm gonna try and continue it. I am notoriously bad at routines, to be honest. I, think, I feel like that's part of my possible condition of how my brain works, so I'm gonna try and stick to it. Luck has been helping me. Um, and heck, even last night, I was playing The Sims and Luck went to bed and I continued playing The Sims, but I still went to bed like 11, something like that. Whereas like in the past, I'd just be up playing The Sims until 4 a.m. to be honest. <laughs> but this time, like I actually felt tired. I was like, all right, I'm gonna bed, that's 11. I'll leave my phone out here, went to bed, just closed my eyes. It was really tough the first few nights and every now and then it gets a bit more tough because um, I just can't sleep during the night and I'm just tossing and turning, but it's getting easier, it's getting easier. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling jazzed. I'm feeling happy about that. Um, so yeah, so that's where I am right now and I've been able to get work done every day. And, oh my God, I'm loving it, anyway. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last me, but I'm hoping December because I want to get ahead of some stuff here. So we got Coffee Monday and I'm using this really cute cup from um, Hello Petite Planner, which I think matches really well. Did work this day. I finished up my one piece art set this day, did the listings. So that's what this is going to be. It's going to be Kindish Girl new releases, but I'm going to wait till I get my Once More With Love one piece stickers in to put it in and I don't want to like overlay my um, words like my script sticker so I'm just gonna leave that blank so that's just what that is um, when I pulled my stickers I just put this icon here so I remembered to put in that label because <clears throat> uh, yeah that's needed and then I'm actually gonna use it again at the bottom of the page because I was reading the One Piece manga, so I want to use One Piece for that as well. I bought seven sheets of Once More With Love's um, uh, thing, so, you know, I'm hoping it works out. Okay, I don't know if you'll actually get to hear this, but Heidi is next to me on the desk, and there are a whole bunch of jackdaw birds flying around out there, and she is clacking at them. You know how cats clack? She's doing a clacking at them because she's like birdies. Um, I don't know what, it, in winter the seagulls all disappear because all summer and spring long we just have endless seagulls in our area and then as soon as winter's gone, they're gone. So I'll leave that for a one piece sticker. Um, I just used this little trash can <laughs> label for that. Um, but now it's all jackdaws, which we don't have in Australia, so it is fun to see them. I had to, that was, that's the interesting part of moving, by the way, to a new country, to a new continent. Uh, every time I saw an animal or a bug, I had to Google it, because I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're jackdaws. They're like, they kind of look like crows, but they got gray heads. Yeah, it's like that. Um, put this in. So Tuesday was payday. Uh, so Monday I did a bunch of cleaning. I cleaned the bathroom as per usual. I've been doing good with that. It's Monday today and I have to clean it today. Sometime today. We had groceries delivered. And I just used this little Santa from Paper Milk. Try to keep some of it Christmassy. And then I read some One Piece. So what is this here for? Oh, Instagram post. I didn't have a lot to post on Tuesday because... I literally just worked all freaking day. <laughs> just worked all day long. Um, yeah, I think Locke was pretty busy at work this day, so I, I just sat and I drew. So I finished one piece, and then during this week, I started and finished my Valentine's set, like a rose, and that went up at the end of the week. Um, but I was also working on... Um, a custom for Andrew, which I'm going to be finishing up in this next couple of days. 
I'm trying to like not be too stressed about those customs because Andre is very flexible, but um, uh, but still do it an amount of time, but also get other things done at the same time. I'm learning how to really be able to juggle what I do, which is hard for me. So, uh, but it's getting there. So I put Instagram posts because I posted up about my like a rose set, and then. Yeah, it's just a very, um, I really didn't do a lot this day. So the next thing I'm going to put in is we watch some X-Files. We only watch like one or two episodes um, at a time though. So uh, I want the patterned ones. And because we've been so busy that day, we end up getting Maccas or McDonald's. And then the last thing I have to mark is that I had a shower. Yeah. Well, I don't have much else to mark. Obviously, I shower more than that. Shower not as much as I would like. I still struggle with hygiene, especially with my overall thing, but I'm working on it. It's always a work in progress. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so, but I, I just marked it in this time as a little gingerbread man, because I don't know, I was a little gingerbread in the shower, <laughs> I guess. The only problem with like actually properly working is that I do nothing else <laughs> to bark in. I suppose while I was working, I was also watching a lot of um, Sims streams. I wasn't reading a lot actual books. Like I wasn't reading an audiobook this week because I had finished my main audiobook and I was just reading um, short stories on our Kindle or the manga um, in bed before going to sleep. So that's helped a lot too. Um, yeah, so actually when I was drawing, I was mostly... This is another short one, so I'm going to do a half box for work here. Um, but I've been mostly watching sim streams in the build up to the new expansion. So um, I, it's not just, I don't just work, I do stuff at the same time. So I guess I could put YouTube binge at the same time, but it's not like I'm watching it actively. So here I'm actually going to put. Um, because I didn't have a lot to put on it. So once again, I was working. I worked from like um, like 10 a.m. through to 5 p.m. I was pretty happy with myself. I, use, I can use the productive AF sticker. I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> Yay, me. Anyway. <laughs> then, um, I don't know. It may seem silly, but I feel like if you guys have been following me a while, you know that I, I struggle a lot, especially this year. This year's not been great, but I'm trying to finish it off with a bit more optimism, a bit more of a a bang. So it, it's getting there. I'm working on it. I'm doing all right this month so far. Um, so we had... Um, Thai for dinner, Zap Isan Thai, really, really good. I had this um, really spicy basil pork ribs um, with rice and an egg. Oh my God, and cucumber, oh my God, so good. Gosh, they're a really good Thai restaurant here. And then, <laughs> you wouldn't think it to be in, in Helsinki, a Thai restaurant, but this really good Asian restaurants here, to be honest. Some really good stuff. Um, then we watch the X Files again, and then once here, once again here, um, I wanted to put in that I read some One Piece as well. So I finished the One Piece volume, I think, at this on this day, and then I was reading um, one of the Expanse short stories. I was reading The Vital Abyss. I was reading that on the Kindle, just something to read without my phone in bed before going to sleep. So that's been nice. But, uh, yeah, so the X-Files. I finally got my X-Files scripts in, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm sure we put one piece down here because it's a bigger one. We could put the Vital Abyss here. Okay. And then we'll read one piece down here. But I don't want to really write it in until I get the stickers just so I know the, pace, the spacing. Alright, so that was my Wednesday. Yeah, my weeks get a bit... My week was a bit more boring because I was doing work, but that's good. It's good when life is boring, honestly. All right, Thursday, 
Thursday. Take another look. I got these like little placeholders for my One Piece stickers because they're important. <laughs> so first off, all oh, right. I don't know if you guys are gonna agree with me, but I think um, Thursday morning. I know there's there's always people who like don't speak ill of the dead, but I kind of want. <laughs> I put lol. Lol in my planner because um, Henry Kissinger died Thursday morning and to be honest I was kind of like lol um, it's about time and uh, that's just how I feel about it um, if you don't know anything about Henry Kissinger you should look him up he's basically he's I'm gonna be honest he's a war criminal and I'm gonna leave it at that and um, I feel like there's just a long-running joke in the internet that when someone dies, it's like, why? Is Kissing just still alive? This is a hundred, but now he's gone. And it was quite a party on the internet that morning, to be honest. I'm just saying, like that's just my personal opinions. And if you don't agree, then goodbye. <laughs> no, it's fine. We don't have to agree about everything, but I don't want to argue with anyone about it because. I think it's a very historical fact here, but anyway. So I kind of just put lol here. <laughs> lol. I know what happened. Uh, and the time's up. And then <laughs> with the clock. Then work. Then I did listings for like a rose. And then I released her because I was like, you know what? Why wait until Friday to release my little set? So I got these little roses because I like to match stickers with my new release. Like a rose, which again, yes, if you know, I base this again off an A1 song. <laughs> so Walking in the Rain is an A1 song. Like a Rose is also an A1 song. And I was listening to it while doing the set. And it's just so pretty and romantic. I really like it, so. Okay, I got a bit more to fit in here, which is not great. <laughs> I was gonna put it at the end. Okay, all right, so let's put a little thing and then maybe we use where you could fit this in here um uh, hmm. so let's have a look i've got a thing to fit in here because uh, i was playing the sims while also watching a movie my first christmas movie of the season which i don't always watch a lot of them to be honest but I was like, you know what? I'll start. And I, and I watched. I played The Sims while I watched it. I watched The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is like, if I'm gonna start watching Christmas films, this was the first one to go because I think it's perfect. Halloween to Christmas, like crossover, <laughs> like moving into like it encompasses both. So I like to watch it in the middle. And then I was actually listening to some Christmas music. Um, this day. Uh, we're gonna talk about my Christmas playlist. Cause we've got plenty of time. Um, this week is going by so fast. I might plan with me. And uh, okay, so I have a my own Christmas playlist on Spotify. So here it is. Um, <laughs> uh, and I've got like the, so the soundtrack to the first Home Alone because I love those especially somewhere in my memory which is like a um it's like made for the show for the movie but i love somewhere in my memory especially the, about gingerbread wishes gingerbread feeling and then i i, I think it's carol of the bells i really love i'm not religious at all I'm, i've been an atheist like my whole life but i really do enjoy religious christmas music and I, I, some of it's really great. I think it's Carol the Bells, the one where they go fall on your knees. I just love. <laughs> um, I got rocking around the, and then I got like the, the old fashioned. I like the, like the old ones, like from the fifties and stuff. You got rocking around the Christmas tree, Jingle Bell Rock. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Silver Bells, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, we got Run Rudolph Run, the little drummer boy. And these are like Bing Crosby, Chuck Berry, Dean Martin. Um, then I also have some Christmas stuff from Elvis. I really like his White Christmas and the first Noel. Uh, if you don't know, I was obsessed with Elvis as a child, like obsessed. 
I was I joined the Graceland newsletter as a young child, um, and I only listened to Elvis for a long time. And it's funny because when I was older, then Lilo and Stitch came out, and Lilo is also obsessed with Elvis, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm Lilo. <laughs> We have a lot of other things in common too, but um, yeah, Lilo is my my girl, and it's kind of weird how we have so much in common. <laughs> um, I've got Sleigh Ride by the Ronettes. I'm gonna please come home for Christmas from the Eagles. I got the Christmas song by Nat King Cole, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Um, I've got Sleigh Ride, Winter Wonderland, Frosty and the Snowman from the Ronettes. More of them because they're really good. Twelve Days of Christmas from Bing Crosby, and then I got newer stuff like What's This from Danny from Nightmare Before Christmas. I enjoy like What's This. Um, I also enjoy uh, the message is really dumb in my opinion, but I really enjoy Do They Know It's Christmas. Not the lyrical content, but I like the song itself. Um, Little Saint Nick from the Beach Boys. That's really good. Go Last Christmas from Wham. We got All I Want for Christmas is You, Mariah Carey. Although I kind of really love the cover of it from Love Actually. That was really good. And then I got a new one from this year from Subwoofer. They did a song with A1. Um, if you don't know about Subwoofer, they're a Norwegian group and they were in Eurovision the other year and they're so good. <laughs> but they released a Christmas song to this, like this, couple, this week called I Think I Killed Rudolph. And I've added it to my playlist because it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my Christmas playlist. I love the oldies. Um, I grew up with my mom putting on vinyl records. And I grew up with this, this main vinyl record that I always remember that has Rudolph on the front. And it's red with Rudolph. And it has like those old 50 songs on it. So that's what is always Christmas to me. But that's the music I listen to <laughs> for Christmas. I started listening to some on the 30th. Then on the 1st, it was the beginning of Planmas. So now I'm just actually gonna go ahead and put my three videos up for the rest of the days, just so they're done. And um, I found really useful is Andrew brought out all of these little Christmas little things in all the foils, and they're perfect to mark Planmas. I'm so happy. So we got a little wreath. I'm using the white foil with this one because um, she only brought out a rose and obviously not a rose gold. And we got a little candy cane. And the next one I have to actually write in. It was a flip through, but it's a little present. So I just have these like sheets on all of my, with all of my future spreads and kits so I can make sure all my Planmas videos get in. Because I think it's really fun to be able to see them every year. So Planmas began as well as Jingle Jam. Um, yeah, it's a British thing and they raise millions of pounds for charities every year. And they, it's two weeks of like playing video games and all sorts of stuff. And it's really fun to watch. Um, and every Saturday, every Saturday, they always do a poker game. And we still talk about the most crazy part of their put one of their poker games there were two nine of hearts in the deck mistakenly and they were both on the board like next to each other while they were playing poker and no one playing noticed except the two who do like the commentary and like the we could see them in people's hands like there's two nines two nine of diamonds and then they get both get put on the board and then they got shuffled back in because no one noticed they were there and it's like they touched the nine of diamonds cards touched, there's two of them, and no one noticed. So that's one of the highlights. <laughs> one of those things that's just like became a, a Jingle Jam legend. <laughs> they were playing with two of the same cards, oh gosh. It was really good to watch it live that year. <laughs> it was really fun. But luckily Jingle Jam, due to, um, you know, uh, time differences and stuff from England. It doesn't start till like 1 p.m. here, so I got some work done, mostly on um, the custom for Andrea. So it's almost done. It's getting there. I don't want to rush it because it's, you know, I feel like the customs shouldn't be rushed because, you know, they're getting, they're technically getting, I'm getting paid more than I usually do from the shop. To be honest, 
So I like to make sure there's a good lot of work put in. Okay, we're gonna fit everything in here that I want to fit in. Um, let's just do a little thing for this one. All right. So then I did some laundry on this day while doing work and watching Jingle Jam and setting up some more plan -mas. And then I got a happy mail this day. This is the first part of the sticker hole for Christmas Day for the 25th. Um, I needed a lot of stuff for my actual like December spread, so I requested the box and I was getting really full. Oops. You know, Black Friday spending and um, just getting stuff from Amazon, you know. You know how it is. Um, so that came and the, so the, the haul on the 25th is already over an hour long. And I'm hoping to have a second lot of mail as well. So if you got nothing to watch while recovering from Christmas, if you celebrate, or if you don't have anything to do on that day, well then you're gonna have a long haul to enjoy. <laughs> And I've included like planners and wax and stuff in there as well. So it's not just stickers. Um, all right, so then I want to mark that a new Blind Channel song came out. Die Another Day. It's really, really good. It's very emo. <laughs> You're not going to bring me down about Blind Channel. I'm on a high right now. <laughs> and then I was reading a short story called Dawn Shard from Brandon Sanderson before bed so yeah so that was Friday uh, oh and then I went to I talked about it I think yesterday is when the video went up yeah um, in my pre-plan with me about how I had a horrible lot of messages on Friday about us I think it's a scammer trying to scam me but they're claiming I scammed them and it just that was going on through Friday and it was total bummer and I felt sick about it all weekend long. I've already talked about this if you watch my pre-plan with me but it really sucks. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, you're not bringing me down. I've started I'm finally in a good groove especially with my mental health and I don't need this right now. It's just the joy of running a small business <laughs> I guess. Aww. Oh well. I haven't heard anything about it since, so I think it's done with, but, oh my god, my hair's all in here. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't great. It was pretty horrible, to be honest. I don't like dealing with that, but you gotta deal with it. It's just the reality of business. Um, okay, so, Saturday, I did some cleaning up of the apartment. Just did some vacuuming and stuff and then I got to film my haul because I didn't I think I got delivered at like nine like nine o'clock so I I wanted to get to bed and not stay up all night filming a haul because obviously it took a long time so I filmed the haul and I used this really cute Santa Claus letter from SBC Doodles and uh, I'm trying to bring in like I really enjoy bringing in my like holiday stickers like you stick with the plan a little pudding drawing for work it's really fun. Fox and Cat is like Christmas songs person, even though it's not a Christmas song. You know what I mean. And then we were watching some X Files, and I didn't have a lot of TV stickers left, so I did use a. Um, here in Finland, Dis the X Files is on Disney Plus, so. Which may seem odd, <laughs> I guess, because it's a 20th Century Fox, so that's owned by Disney now, and then Disney Plus outside of America includes Hulu stuff. Um, but we call it Star, but yeah. So that's why the X-Files is on Disney Plus here. So I did that and then watched some Jingle Jam. This year I haven't decided, I decided not to put in the individual streams this year. But um, yeah, I was watching different streams. Then, what do I want to put in here? I played some Sims. I'm trying to finish up my um i'm trying to finish up my current uh legacy challenge before the year ends or even um bef 
I'm not going to finish it before the expansion comes out, but before the year ends, I want to finish my current Not So Berry Legacy, and I'm on the last generation. So I've just been playing that now to like finish it up. And then I was finished, I finished Dawn Shard this day. Uh, just using Christmas stickers for The Sims too, because why not? So the video that went up on Sunday was my July through September flip through. Which I think there was a few spreads in there I didn't film, so there's some extra stuff there if you've missed it, so they weren't Plan With Me's on those. And then I filmed my pre-plan with me to go up this week. Pre-film, and then we're watching some Jingle Jams. And we were also, luck, made breakfast for lunch. No eggs, bacon, tomato, the whole nine yards, delicious toast. Love it. So you film plan with me. You have Jingle Jam, just using the Christmas stickers, and Brekkie. Um, and then, I was actually really tired this day. Um, yeah, I was pooped. So, I did, I watched a lot of YouTube because of course all those um, Plymouth videos and also um, the, what was it? The, um, uh, the Sims embargo early release videos coming out. I was reading, you know, watching the videos about the new expansion pack, which I'm very excited for. Um, I can't wait. Comes out on the 7th, so it's almost out <laughs> by the time you're watching this. But yeah, that's been super fun. And then I also made meatballs for um, dinner. So uh, meatballs and pasta sauce, basically. Like spaghetti meatballs, that's what we made for dinner. But I made the meatballs and then we cooked them in the air fryer and then we we didn't eat all of them, we put the rest of them in the freezer so we have like meatballs for another meal. And then played The Sims for a while until about 11 and then I went to bed. Italian meatballs I guess I should say because there are Finnish meatballs as well. But um, <laughs> which we did actually have earlier in the week. So we've had some meatballs. So that is the finished spread. Let me um, bring you out here. Um, and then we'll put the last little sparkly deco bits on top. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I went with this rose gold. I think it goes really well with this colorway. Um, I, I guess like rose would have been a bit too pink, whereas this is nice, more peachy. I'll put a couple of these little deco bits about just to bring a bit more shine. Let's put one over here. Um, but yeah, it's been a good week. You know, I'm, I've started this uh, like new routine and I think it's working. I think I can get it done. Um, I'm still working on my, my cleaning the kitchen every night routine. That's dropped off a little, but I'm going to try and get back into that. It's basically like I set an alarm for 8 p.m. and I just get up and tidy up the kitchen so it's all clear for the next day. Um, but for the start of all the stuff on December 1st, it kind of went to the wayside, but I do want to get back into that. So I'll probably clean the bathroom and the kitchen today on this Monday. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how that's going, but... Yeah, otherwise I think it's going good. Starting Christmas off, I gotta think about what movies I'm gonna watch this week, or at least a movie. Um, I'm not sure. I have to go see what's actually available on streaming because I don't pay for Netflix anymore. Um, I basically, I picked up a month of Netflix to watch like One Piece and Fall of the House of Usher and stuff, uh, but I don't, and I'll probably be doing that every now and then, just picking up a month. But I feel like Netflix has just gone too expensive to have it all the time. I know, it really sucks. Because I think, God, the Christmas is on there, but I really want to watch that, but we'll see. But yeah, that is the finished spread, my first Christmas spread for the year. 
Um, are, you use, are you using this kit? Um, like maybe the different colorways, but what do you think? What are you pairing up with it foil-wise? Um, have you started your spreads yet? Or are you waiting a bit longer? I don't know. It's up to you. You're not using them at all because I understand that as well. Um, I, I only culturally celebrate Christmas and not you know, the actual, I guess, meaning of it. <laughs> I guess I celebrate more of like a Yule kind of thing, I guess. So yeah, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and you've enjoyed today's video. Um, and we'll be continuing on as planned as usual. I think now I have all the videos done for this coming week. So yeah, we've got plenty of more videos to come. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.